Welcome to my cave. In this cave I'm gonna talk about random programming stories. But we're gonna talk about how I came up with an idea and turn it into an open source project complete with documentation and fancy readme page and all of that stuff. This story isn't mostly about programming, it's about kind of my self-improvement journey because this project is a result of my conscious effort to basically become a better person or more productive person. So having embarked on this self-improvement journey once again as we all do, I've had a day of productivity working on a project. It's probably one of my recent videos, 3D Seller Automata. I've been working on that for the whole day and what do you do 9pm? Well you can play video games, you can watch YouTube videos or you can be productive or read a book, make a new project. I'm not sure about this, but it's probably a bad idea to work a full day on one single project. And motivationally, I don't think that would work. You need something new. That's why you go to YouTube or play video games. It's, it's novel. You need something novel. Being more conscious of my decisions over the day, I decided, you know what? I think I have enough energy to do some programming, even though I've been doing that the whole day. I don't know why I had this on my mind, but there's a Unity library called character stats I think. It's a C sharp library where you can control stats through modifiers, like your attack stat could go up, or if you step in a puddle your movement speed gets slowed. I don't think anyone has done this in Rust before, so there's, there's actually a reason for this library to exist. I started working on it, I was pretty productive even though it was later on the day, like 9-8pm, but it was an exciting project. Just as exciting as playing a video game or watching a video. I'm a programmer, I find this exciting. Probably you too. <laughs> this project became my replacement for playing video games or watching videos. And I didn't feel any less happy because of that. I felt more accomplished. I'm about day two into this project. I've actually learned a lot of new things about Rust. I have never used a weak pointer in Rust, ever. I've never dealt with const generics. If you don't know what that is, it's basically... In Rust we can define an array size through a template. I don't think I've seen any other language being able to do this, and I wanted to do that for my library. So I learned that, I learned about weak pointers. Overall it's it's been a great learning project. I think I'm day 3 or 4 on this side quest. And, and I, I'm thinking this is looking really good. It's a small library, that's why I've been able to do it so quickly. But I decided, okay, this is actually good enough to release. But what does it look like to release something like this? I want it to look professional. So, um, so day three or four or something like that. I only spent on writing unit tests, which which actually became super useful for when I re rewrote the entire library once. I wrote example code. This is something very common in Rust libraries, which is one reason I love to use Rust, because every library you're gonna use is gonna have a lot of example code. So I wrote that, and if you're gonna release a library, especially in Rust, you should document your code. So I did that. I made a beautiful little readme page, a logo, and then I released it on GitHub and on crates.io. So the way I did my library is a little bit different than the library that I was mimicking. In the other library I think you need to remove your modifiers by writing remove modifier. That's not a thing in my library. I realized we could use weak pointers and with some magical code, a modifier could be valid as long as a handle to it exists. You probably want to look into this library if you want to understand what I'm talking about. I based this off an idea that already exists and I changed it a little bit, so I'm not sure if this is practical. Time will tell. This is mostly a story about self-improvement, I think. I had spent my nights working on this project instead of playing video games or watching videos. It's not always I have an idea on a project like this to make, but if you have one of those, then maybe try doing that instead of wasting your time playing video games instead. So I guess let's talk about self-improvement. It's actually Captain Sinbad, a YouTuber. He recently released a podcast and that alone got me super excited to be more productive 
exercise more, all of that self-improvement stuff. Then I found, I think his name is something like Hamza. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep this streak up. I've been exercising every day for a week. I spend more time outside just being still in nature. Maybe this video is a call to some of you who have been on the self-improvement journey or maybe you have not. Just a reminder to, hey, do, do the hard stuff. I have not looked once on my phone today. Hooray for me. <laughs> I've been at it for like one and a half week now. It's amazing how much stuff you can get done if you just sacrifice some comfort in the moment. Anyway, that's my Code Cave rant. I'm not sure how many of these I'm gonna make, but uh, I wanna have something to be more laid back, more chill. Just talking about random programming things, not these highly edited videos. I wanna be more comfortable talking in front of the camera, which is also one reason I'm doing this. So, it's kind of like a mini podcast almost. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Look into self-improvement again if you want, maybe. Just do it.